Welcome and thank you for registering for Fulfillment by Amazon. Once you have your inventory listed, you will be able to create your first shipment. To do so, you will convert your listings to be fulfilled by Amazon. Convert and send inventory and create your shipment. At the end of this tutorial, you will find where you can learn more about creating shipments. Begin by signing into your seller account and going to the All Inventory view. Select the listings you would like Amazon to fulfill by checking the boxes next to the Merchants queue. Select Convert to Fulfill by Amazon and click the Go button. The next step in creating your shipment is confirming the items you want to have fulfilled by Amazon. Review the items listed and if you see any that you don't want to convert at this time, click Mark for removal. If you click Convert only, you will return to your All Inventory view and you can add these items to a shipment at a later time. Since we are creating your first shipment, click Convert and Send Inventory. You can add more items to the shipment after it's been created. For some items, you will be required to enter the package dimensions. This typically is required for items that have never been shipped from our fulfillment centers. The package dimensions will help identify the proper fulfillment center to ship your inventory to. After entering the dimensions, click Save and Continue. You will return to the previous window to complete the process for converting these items to be fulfilled by Amazon. Click Convert and Send Inventory. Not all items are suitable for fulfillment by Amazon. On the next screen, you will see a general list of product restrictions. Please read through this list carefully to make sure that your inventory is suitable for fulfillment by Amazon. If you aren't sure, click the Learn More link and read the detailed product restrictions and packaging requirements. By continuing, you are acknowledging that your items meet these requirements. On the next screen, you will provide an address that you will be shipping from. Once you enter an address, it will be saved in your seller account for future use. You can edit the address or add additional addresses if you have multiple locations that you ship from. The address you enter will be considered when selecting a fulfillment center to ship to. Next, indicate whether the items you are shipping are individual items or case-packed items. Individual items consist of an assortment of items that will be packed together in one box. Case-packed items are all the same type of product with matching condition packed in the same box with no other units included. Each of these packing methods is processed differently at the fulfillment center. You are now ready to create your shipment. In the left blue box is the ID and location of the fulfillment center where you can ship your inventory. You will be able to print a shipping label later in the shipping workflow. We create a default shipment ID for your shipment using the date and time. You can edit the shipment name using numbers or words that you find easy to track. In some cases, you will need to split your inventory into multiple shipments. When split shipments go to a different fulfillment centers, it is usually because items in your shipment have special storage or handling requirements. Sometimes you will see split shipments going to the same fulfillment center. This typically happens when items in your shipment are processed differently at the fulfillment center. When you click Save and Continue, your shipment ID will be saved and you will receive a confirmation that your shipment or shipments have been successfully created. You can click Work on Shipment to enter item quantities, print labels, select your carrier, enter shipment details and print shipment labels. The shipping workflow will walk you through each step of the process and provide tips and links to help topics that will answer your questions along the way. If you do not complete your shipment, you can always return to wherever you last left off by going to the shipment queue and clicking the shipment name or the work on shipment button. For more information about creating your first shipment, go to the FBA help section, create a shipment.